Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight we're going to be going over setting the where clause in a view object. I have uh, over on my left side of the screen here the basic HR base application which I have been using for my demonstrations. We have the typical entity and view objects. Just a few of the HR schema entities and view objects available to us. And you can look at the uh, view object here. And you can see that there's no view criteria. We're going to be adding a where clause onto this. And you can do it in three different places, probably more. But um, I'll show you each way of doing it. We're going to start at the um, Java level here at the um, view object. And we're going to create a generate a view employee view impl, and it creates it here. And this is what we get. And uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Now you can see that what we have is the vo set where clause, and we're going to be accepting a string job ID. And this is right here the variable. And we're going to be just saying th set this or this dot set where clause job ID and this is the underscore. This is what you actually see in the database. So if we go over to the view object and we look at the query, you can see that this is the syntax. Okay, it is not the syntax from here. It isn't this value. It's the syntax from the query. So keep that in mind uh, when you're doing this because this is actually setting it. And you'll notice here that we have a bind variable. It's highly recommended to use bind variables because the database will have to reparse the query after it's if it's done twice. Let's say you sent in a different value or you know the job ID of um, IT programmer versus VP. If you ran it twice, it wouldn't have to reparse it. So at any rate, it's very simple. You set the where clause. You define the named where clause param, which is basically specifying that this is the bind variable and then you're you're setting the bind variable to the actual value that you send in so maybe it programmer and then you're executing the query okay now we'll go over to our main jspx oh excuse me i have to do one thing here we have to uh, i'll leave that open but um we're going to be now exposing that here and just sliding it over shuttling it over you can see that these other ones are created and you can see there is now that's written there and if we go to our data controls refresh it you can see that now when we click on here it's there so let's go to main and we're um, just a second. Okay, I was thinking about resizing that, but um, I think we'll just do it as a parameter form. And we're going to get the job ID in there. All right, so we've got the VO here. And I'm going to stop for a second, and uh, we're going to do it also on the application module because it's really worth to know that you can do the exact same thing or almost the exact same thing with the application module here. And it's very similar. OK. And uh, just thinking about the imports here, I just wanted to make sure that we got it all right. And basically, um, it's, it's the imports were already in there. And you can see that it's just saying copy it in. I, I just deleted it so that I can show you exactly what you need to do. But you try to choose the one that, frankly, looks the most easy or simplest. And usually it's oracle.jbo. And you can see that those now disappear. So in the same thing, we're going to be doing it this way. But um, we have to change this uh, from the other one. The other one just said this. This one we have to reference. And this is, uh, and if we right click on here, and go, go to definition, which is down here, and you can just see that it returns the employee VO, and it's actually an impl, but 
you can express it as a view object, which I'm doing here. Another thing you want to be sure to check is this not to get this one by accident, because that refers to the entity object. I spent a better part of an evening once trying to do a view object class on an entity object, and it did not work. So uh, learn from my mistake. Uh, reference the right one. So again, we have it here. Uh, we'll make this just to make sure that there's no errors. And in the lower right, you can see that there's zero errors there. Close that out, and we'll shell it over. And we'll go to our data control. And you can actually see now that it's on the data control. We'll go over to main now. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do um, just a minute. I wanted to check that out. It looks like I don't have the job ID, and I probably should do that. So let's just change this, and this will give us a chance to look at what you have to do if you change it. Um, basically, it's easiest if you just get rid of this, shuttle it back, um, because these other ones reference the Java class that we just created. And since we're changing the definition of it, Um, it makes it quite painful if you don't do that. So the best thing to do is just to shuttle it over first. We've got it. Uh, that's a very simple fix, but um, you can see now that it's different. And I'll just show you. It's doing this, and if you didn't do that, that probably would have been stuck in there. It would have, If you hadn't taken it out of here first, it would have been stuck in there, and it would have caused you error. So um, that's one of the things you need to do. OK, so I'm going to go back to our data control, refresh it, and then we're going to just drag this over. And again, we have the, again, this is referring to the application module. This is the view object that we just set. And I'm going to do one more. And this one is going to be, and hopefully we can fit it in here. I think we need to squeeze this down. And this one, we're going to create a managed beam. And uh, well, we'll just do main managed beam. Okay, so we're going to set that. And it's going to create a managed beam. And there it is. Oh, we have to press OK. And Again, we're going to copy and paste the code in. All right, now we're going to do some importing here. It brought that in. What else? Some of it will do automatically once you get the first couple of classes in. OK, I think we need to get rid of this. And I, I'm not going to um, bother putting in the IT programmer as a variable at this time. Um, we've already got this return null, so I think we can get rid of that and get rid of that. So um, because it's, I don't have time to reference a field, and it's something that I've done in other videos. So we've got the three. We've got um, the view object. We've got the app impl, and we'll just change this to um, the bean. And let me just show you that code, sorry, because it, where is it? Here it is. This one is actually referencing the DC bindings container, and it's getting the bindings from the form. And it's going over to the iterator and saying, hey, you know, make me an iterator. And then the iterator dot get object, and then set the where clause. And this is exactly the same code. It's just that you've got a slightly different set of prefixes here that I reference it. So let's run this. OK, here's our form. And we're just going to copy this into here. And we'll copy, I guess I'll do IT programmer, into here. And we press this button. And we're going to get that. And we press this button, and we get that. And I'm going to press this one again, because I believe that the bean is set to the IT programmer. So you can see that all three of the methods that we use to set the where clause worked. So that is 
basically how to do it. I think that the uh, next video we're going to be doing is going to work on a view criteria. Thank you and have a good evening.